Welcome everyone. Somebody asked me if there is something in Archicad which is similar to the mesh clipper or clipping mesh tool from WeRay, which means that you put a 3D object into your 3D model and you subtract the object from your model when you render. So you can create so-called cross sections. Cross sections are not like section planes, which are simple planes. For this, we can use the 3D section tool in Archicad, which I show you. Um, it's more, it's a little bit more complex. It's like putting away a part of all the different levels of your building. I will show you some examples here. So there is no specific tool in Archicad which is called Mesh Clipper or Cross Section Tool, but we have different ways to create something like this. We will start with a very simple one with a 3D section tool, which you might all know. The 3D section tool is here. If you have activated the 3D section tool, you see these little scissors on the sides. You can just click on one of them and drag the 3D section out of it, release the mouse button and finally click on OK. But like I told you before, these are simple section planes and not cross sections. You can pull them out from all the six sides of your building and to delete them, crap them and put them into the litter. The second way to create something similar but not the final solution is to go into your floor plan and use the marquee tool which you find here right underneath the arrow. The marquee tool can select or you can select parts of your buildings with the marquee tool and when you then press the shortcut for your 3D view, you finally see only the selection that you've made. And we have two different modes. The second mode is the simple yeah, uh, geometrical method, like you know from, from drawing lines or anything else. And the first mode means um, selecting only parts of your model from the level you are into right now or selecting all levels. And I will show you the difference. To make it clear, I will make a polygonal selection here of the building, which is my very old bachelor thesis model. And I press the shortcut for 3D view, which is Control and 3 in the German version, and I think it's F5 in the international and English version, but I'm not sure. But I hope you know the shortcut. And like you see, I have only selected everything in the, I think, fourth floor or whatever I was working in and not everything of the building. So I go back into 2D, into the floor plan and I just simply change the mode and press the shortcut for 3D again to see that the marquee tool selected all levels of the building. So this is a way 
I can use to select a little bit more specific instead of using the 3D sections, the, the simple planes, because you cannot rotate them. But it's still not the same which we want to do, because the marquee tool doesn't work horizont horizontally. And so we need a new solution, the final way to create a, a cross section. So I prepared something in the section. I just draw some morphs onto the facade, simple uh, flat morphs, and I extruded them in 3D. And I put them onto a new layer, which I made invisible. That's very important. You will see why it is very important in a couple of seconds. So I make the layer visible again. It's on the other side of the building. And the morph will be the 3D object which intersects with the 3D model. So everything from the model, from the building which lies inside of the morph will be not visible when I render. So I will create the cross section that I want to. How can I do that? Um, it's quite easy. Just use the, um, the solid element operations. So we have to select everything as our solid element operation target. Um, I deselect the morph here because the, the morph should be the operator. And I press with the right mouse button anywhere in the sky. Go on connect. Solid element operations. And as you can see we have selected uh, yeah, almost 2000 goals or targets. Deselect them. We need the morph as operator. Select the morph. Take it as operator and now we have to choose the operation. In this case it's the first operation. I think it's called subtraction. And then we finally execute or operate. Now it takes some time. If everything is selected, you know it's done. But as you can see, the morph is still there, but that's not wrong. That's the difference between Boolean operations and the solid element operation. It's a very constructive and not deconstructive method. Um, as you can see, the lines here are a little bit thicker, so it, the morph cut through or cuts through the wall. And all we have to do right now is to make the morph invisible. So like I told you, it is very important to put that onto a separate layer. Open your layer menu and just make the layer of the morph invisible. And we're done. So this is the most simple and effective way to create something like a cross section. And like I said, it's constructive. When you blend in the layer of the morph again and you sell, uh, and you delete the morph, everything will be back here. So nothing of the building is lost or erased or something else. It's um, it's still there. It's not like using boolean operations where the object gets lost after subtraction but you can only use the boolean operations um, with morphs and you can use the solid element operations with almost everything in Archicut with all solid elements. So yeah, we're done. I hope you learned something. You can now create uh, cross sections. If you are creating some cross sections, please let me know. 
send them onto my Facebook page, facebook.com slash creative home. And as always, have a nice day and stay creative.